We really do need to. We talked about this. We really do need a Japan survival guide. I'm talking to some publishers right now. <laughs> I'll do the deep bow. Oh, I always do the ballet spin. Deep bow. Mm. B. He didn't bow at all. <laughs> Wait, that was just a. <laughs> Did you ever head bang at concerts? Oh, yeah. I'm always With there. a giant afro. <laughs> Man, when I had long hair at concerts, I would always go go deep into the head banging. Grace! Wait, how long has your hair? Has it was that length? shoulder length. Yeah, shoulder length hair. Mm hmm. Yeah, I gotta see a picture. And of I this. remember. At this time, I refused to take pictures with people because it was high school. What eight years is high school? So I was like, no pictures, please. You, you distracted me with your hair. Another so round. Weird. One more round of Bomberman. <laughs> you had shoulder, shoulder length, length hair. Red hair. I guess it's it was like kind of reddish brown. Short. I gotta see this. It's man. a gold tint. Man, I was so beautiful of hair. <laughs> but I didn't know it in high school, so I was all depressed, and then it. I guess your body goes, he's depressed. Get rid of his hair. That's the first thing to go. We don't need to kill him straight away. Just get rid of the hair. Maybe he'll step up his game. I gotta see this. I think maybe there's one picture of me. You got it on Facebook? No, it was before Facebook. You got it on MySpace? You still got your MySpace be. active? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> if only I knew what I do now back then. There was a girl who was clearly interested in me and talking about MySpace brought that up. What song did you have for your MySpace page? Was You're it so cold, keep so your hands <laughs> keep your hands away. <laughs> keep your hands in your pocket. <laughs> Now, I remember this girl from a different... It's one of those things where it's like, oh, this girl from a different high school, but nobody would believe you. <laughs> all the... I didn't, like, talk to any of the girls from my high school. It was all girls from a different high school. And they Everyone would... Everyone probably thought, this motherfucker can't. Yeah, you don't know nobody. <laughs> but they would always, like, be like, will you please go to this dance with me? Which I'm like, thinking back, how the fuck did I know any of them? I didn't even go to their high school. Same neighborhood? No, it was a different city. Why is Pink so love? But she, she has no special abilities. I think she's just a bitch. But there was a girl that was clear, clearly interested in me. But back then I was like, I, I don't want to offend her. <laughs> Did you have corn rolls ever? I wanted. Hold on. I think I wanted. I think I wanted corn rolls, but I didn't know how to do them. I just had a regular shoulder length hair. And I remember it was just like straight down and uh, I remember some girl was like, how can you hear? I'm like, it's not in my ears. <laughs> like, you have some stupid thing to say. I'm trying to, I, okay, I'm, I'm, trying, like, I'm trying to picture your Kansai God I look when you have It was, I cut it off right before going to Kansai God Because I thought like, oh, we'll go, I'll go with a fresh look. Which I should have just kept it long. You should have just kept it long, baby. God, and there was this... Where am I? Top. Oh, she's pretty good. Ooh. Fast. Of course she is. Hussy. She's got to go between dicks all day long. That little fucking hussy bitch. <laughs> she ain't got a lot of bombs. But, uh... I remember there was this fucking girl from, uh... From school, and she was always like... You know, you gotta get better socks. You gotta get better... You gotta cut your hair. <sighs> Just annoyed me. listen to her no not really i just did it for ah! for kansai gaide because i was like well we should go fresh but i remember she was like like christian you need to cut your hair like you guys don't look good with long hair but then there was a guy with long hair in our class and she's like oh he looks so good with his long hair i'm like what the fuck is she talking about but now that i'm 31 i'm like oh that's just how women are <laughs> they're just fucking crazy It is nice to be out of that 20-year-old age where you don't understand anything. 
Isn't it nice to be 30 and you're like, oh, okay. If someone says this to me, I know they're they're yeah, fucking, yeah, know they're they're fucking lying. <laughs> I can smell goddamn bile from a mile away. Come here. Fuck, I got away. Brace! <laughs> you can't you punch? Oh, I guess not. She has brittle hands. <laughs> Hmm. That's sexist. Speaking of brittle hands on women, um, be careful now. Uh, pfft, what the hell's going on? Kill. Yeah. But, uh, you know they're making that Family Mart over there? Yeah. It's all these guys and, ah! <laughs> and one woman, like, building it, and she looks fucking miserable. I was just looking at her, she was just holding something heavy, and it was just, she had this face like, why the fuck am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Man, dark. Deep. You know that? Was that Invader Zim? Yeah. But really off. <laughs> you said it like a surfer guy. You know, deep. How can you do Invader Zim's voice? Zim? No, probably not. Got you, deep. <laughs> That was, that was okay. <laughs> it kind of is like that, I guess, huh? But I, I can't take it. To, I'd have oh, to, he can kick bombs! Oh, he's punching bombs! I'd have to hear it first before I can do it. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Chris is getting it. Okay, I'm just, I gotta fight back! Alright, I'm just gonna... I've gotta fight back! Brandon. Bombs! I'm just gonna start playing <laughs> Invader Zim clips. He just ran straight into that. I, I was gonna have to fight back. Grr, dude, bro, grr, you fucking wild. You're like a robot sometimes and a dog sometimes. <laughs> Green dog, come on, man. <laughs> what's another? What's another cartoon from that era? I can only think of Hey Arnold right now. So the teacher at my school down there. We're talking about cartoons. You don't interrupt my cartoon talk. <laughs> you see me on YouTube. I have a show called Cartoon Talk. Cartoon Talk. That probably be. That probably get a lot of hits actually. So, say so the cartoon teacher at one of your schools. Not the elementary school teacher. She doesn't know the kids' names <laughs> at all. It's just Takeshi and Yuki. And I'm just like, wait, you've been here for like a, a whole another year than me. Like, why don't why don't you know the kids' names? <laughs> Well, she tries to pretend, like, alright, take your name tags out for the teacher. I'm like, no, it's you don't know the fucking names. You you should know these names. That is weird. Well, you know, but, I, but she only, but she, how many classes does she have? Um, a lot. Wait, is elementary school, they're just in charge of the one class, right? The, the Japanese English teacher, the JT. Oh, oh, so she's like a special teacher. You still have pride? <laughs> Chris is a fat fat. What the hell have you been writing down? Because I write that down like every five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you're about to text me, like, erase. <laughs> hey, wh hey, what's up? <laughs> I was like, could anyone talk about Japan and not be cheesing? <laughs> well, you know how like everyone has that big smile. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On YouTube, it's like, hey, hey, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> everyone's always doing that cheesing thing. It's like, can you stop? Can you calm the fuck down? Can you get a fucking grip? Well, there's a kebab place at Shinsekai. We should we should go around that area too. Maybe we get stabbed. It'd be gonna be fun. There's but, a there's a kebabery in um, Nipponbashi. But here's the thing, Shinsekai is that poor area. Oh. Um, and the kebab there's like ten dollars. Oh shit. And I compare it to like Tokyo, or I saw I even saw one in Kyoto, and it's like only like damn it seven or six dollars. So I'm like, so what are they up to? <laughs> 
when we talk about that, like, the poor places are always expensive. Yeah. Where the rich places are like, okay, we would be cheaper. Because, yeah, in Shibuya, they were pretty cheap, I think. Or, no, mm-hmm. the, I don't remember if it was kebabs. I don't know you think. Okay, no thank one. you. That last showing was so pathetic. Hold on, let me get my... Hold on, let me try that again. Hold on, let me, hold on, let me get some more glug in me. Glug, the Baron thought to himself. <laughs> I swear it's a good... It's a good Ooh. read. But it's a... I didn't say you get to the end of the book and then you go, Oh, okay, I understand. Paul started to speak. Hesitated. Test of acne? Beginnings are such delicate times. <laughs> That's the same as a date. It's a first date. <laughs> My son's been tested. He has the K virus. Wouldn't that be crazy if you read like an old book and it was like the coronavirus? You're like, what the fuck? Are you done reading? I read the whole book. Oh, okay. Time to get out. Dune Messiah. <laughs> Paul had walked out into the desert like a Fremen. <laughs> Is that what it says? Yeah. <laughs> he was blind, truly blind, Tendis had said. As what, Was he like, like the, really blind, like he can't see? He got his face blown off. What? <laughs> By a nuke. Someone blew his face off of the nuke. Uh, let me try and find that. Two children, Paul thought wonderingly. Someone took his left arm. Usul. Paul's left arm? I think it meant like, to guide him. Ah, <laughs> uh, loyal, loyal Duncan, she said. Do you love me, Duncan? Who said that, Paul? I don't know, my lady. I don't know what the hell's going on. The moon fell. Do you want to borrow these books? You can read them on the train. Bing, bing, bing. Uh, sometimes you can find like some Japanese like stuff on YouTube or the internet, mainly YouTube, and it'll, it'll be like real serious or just real real. Okay. And then it will just get deleted. It's like, why'd you even put? It? It's like it's weird, man. They'll put it on there, and then they'll get rid of it. Hmm. So it's like, all right, here's our here's us being real, and then it's gone. <laughs> You're like, what? Do you have an example? Is it just like the average foreign YouTuber, or just anything? Not, not like anything? like legitimate like Japanese Japanese stuff. Saying that they don't. Saying real stuff about Japan. Yeah, or, or just not saying, but just like, hey, there'll, there'll be a crime. And like, oh, oh, okay. I want to maybe save this. And then you go in, it's like, it's gone. Hmm. That's weird. Like, there was a re- the report about the girl that got stabbed over there and killed. Which was interesting, yeah. Yeah, there was a whole YouTube thing about it. I was like, oh, shit. And then I looked again, I was like, it was gone. So like, why'd you guys even put it up? It's like, this is for... Just so, just long enough for people to see it, but hmm. not long enough so you can uh, if so you know you can catch they're, us. They're just so they're just so weird. Japan's just such a bizarre country. There's a. <laughs> I said, just damn it, bear with me, guys. I, I gotta get through all this horse shit. It's been three weeks. Uh, on YouTube there was some stupid bitch, and she was like, "Guys, nuclear energy is the way to go. Stop being pussies." I'm like, nuclear energy is not the safest fucking thing, bitch. <laughs> and also, I, I found the stop being pussy comment funny, because this is probably like that same white bitch that if I go up and say, Hey, how you doing? She'll go, <laughs> she'll grab her purse like, Oh my god! Woo! Stop being pussies with nuclear energy. Hey, what time is it? You get on the heat off. 
listen, I don't have a watch. My phone's dead. Can you just t- please tell me the time? <laughs> and then she's... Oh, rape right, my pussy. What the hell's going on? I don't know. Did you break? This is what I get for letting you get a second turn. <laughs> I should have knew it. <laughs> Let me reset this. Hey, it's working. <laughs> Did I tell you about this? Uh, the, about the AOT guy I know? Different company. He said he, he said he went to his company. He was like, yeah, I want to quit. Because he doesn't like the trip at his school. And they say, hey, hey, hey. We can uh, bump you up in, a different, in, in the company. Really? Yeah, they were like, can you just, just hold out here and we can give you a job maybe inside the company. Okay. You know, so when you only have to, you might have to teach English twice a week. Really? <laughs> But I was like, oh, that that just shows you, show you, like, hey, they ain't got, yeah, it's still game time, like, right, like, hey, they ain't, they can't afford people be leaving. So he's got to finish out his contract and then maybe get bumped up. Maybe I don't, I don't, or I, or it could just all be a lie, and they could just be saying that probably <laughs> just to make him stay. And then when he says, okay, I'll get that company, I'm like, you go leave us, motherfucker. <laughs> we just wanted you to stay. Until we can replace you. Right. But either either one. Uh, but here's the thing. I think Japan is finally getting a negative image. Because I was talking to some people back in America. And they'd be like, what's Japan like? And I was just straightforward like, they're really racist. <laughs> and, then, and everyone was like, yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, good. If the average person, or maybe a little bit on the Japan's interest... Average plus one Japan right, has right. heard negative things, then, like, okay, maybe it's getting out. Okay, it's getting out, slowly but surely. But it's like, if if everyone leaves with a negative image of your country, that's, how, that's the perception people are going to get. Like, uh, the girl I worked with, the first girl at the Eikaiwa, she actually said, she was like, I gotta leave Japan before I start to hate it. I'm like, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. So. If we just hang in another 45 years, (laughs) tables will turn. I think it's even fifth grade, yeah. Yeah. A little small boy. <laughs> Easy to beat up. But no one can control him. And oh, shit. It was it was one of those things where you see, like, oh, like, like the Japanese teachers just can't even take him out the glass because he was just so bad. <laughs> He's so just dis- disrespectful. I, I'll just sit there like, are y'all serious? Right. Like, he's disrespectful to the, the Japanese English teacher, but even to his own homeroom teacher. Who's oh. A, who's a man. Really? And he was, he was like, like, just sitting there on his laptop playing music. I was like, oh my god. I was like... Oh, the boy was? Yeah. And like, the man was like, come on, just pay attention. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, there's just no way. I, I don't... I, I'm Alright, this is going to sound sexist against guys. <laughs> I don't understand what a grown man would do becoming an elementary teacher. Yeah, did you have any... When, when you were in elementary school? Uh, I think I had, well. It, I don't, I don't think so, man. It's I, faint. I mean, probably surely, but. I, I might have had one, but I think they were all women, yeah. I know people, well, you guys are teachers. This, this Not is, by choice. <laughs> we don't have any other choice. But these people have a choice. They had to go to. Yeah. They had to go to college for this. and Right. Yeah, I think my elementary school had one male teacher. I honestly don't want to But is that because it's just generic where high school, junior high school, you're more specific? Where it's like a guy in general is going to be like, oh, I'm interested in this topic, so I'm going to learn it. But a woman would be more like, oh, I just kind of want to teach yeah, so so why is a guy an elementary school teacher though? In Japan, I don't know. I was thinking the same thing with um, 
there was that job um, Johnny Sensei had where he was like, it was like a private, I don't know if it was a kindergarten, but he, the, the one with the, I'm Ken, that, mm. that, that, that school. And I was like, why the fuck are any of the Japanese teachers working here? Because I'm like, the foreigners work here because it pays better. And they're, they're the kind of fucked up foreigners that would work here. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I'm like looking at all the Japanese teachers in the videos that they force them to make. And I'm like, I don't see who chooses to work here as a Japanese. Like, you, you don't even have to teach English. You could do anything you wanted. <laughs> But that's the same with the... Why would a guy choose to... Hmm. I don't know. And the thing about a kid being disrespectful is... You, you, if you're a grown adult, just... Just hit him. Nah, I just like... Hey, that too, but like... <laughs> that's always an option. <laughs> you, you just... You've been through too... Just being older, you just oh, been yeah. through too much to have a... A was maybe eight-year-old kid... Talking to you like that. It's like, and you can't do nothing. It's like, I, I am. That's kid. Like, if I, if I just drove you two miles <laughs> and said get out of my car, you wouldn't know what the fuck to do. Right. Yeah. You can't survive. Man, that shit was getting wild. Yeah, that's that's so fucked up. Where you're like, you know, what? maybe the people of the past had it right. Where you just fucking beat children until they acted right. And sometimes women. Not all the time. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah, that's fucking crazy because... Especially, like, my size. You would think someone who's a six-year-old. I don't know how big a six-year-old is. Three foot? I'm six-two. I weigh, like, 260 pounds. At that age, I would never think to talk back or disrespect any adult let alone someone this big but they're just like yeah fuck it it's just so weird have you seen any of the teachers at your elementary school really like step up and like put a like stop a kid from being disrespectful or something um, recently I said there was a I guess maybe fourth grade yeah. I didn't see what happened, but, like, the teacher opened the door, and he had, like, the little boy by the, by the back of his neck, and he just, like, <laughs> tossed him in. It happened so fast, I was like, what happened? <laughs> the boy, when he went on his desk, he was like, I was like, ooh, what happened? I love it. He, he just had him, like, in the back of the neck, and he tossed him in there. I was like, ooh. But I didn't see what happened. I was mad. That, that, that's what was weird about the junior high school. All the male teachers, except for me because I really couldn't do anything all the male teachers except for the one time <laughs> all the male teachers really fucking laid into those kids when they acted up but I wonder because hmm. it's weird because that was a rural maybe, maybe, place maybe that's a rule though maybe like after once you hit middle school you can lay in you can lay in them because I think I think at that age the schools care about we want order at any cost Hmm. But at the elementary school, the schools are probably like, these are little kids. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Are you picking Sleeping Pete? Yeah, I'm getting a little I used like to him. Sleeping Pete. You know, I, I He's a little slower. Watch out. All these bomb usage. He's got a lot of bombs. He's got a lot of bombs. Would you call him the bomb? Ooh. Well, I might as well finish this bitch off since she already killed herself once. <laughs> Come, <in. laughs> Come on, Brandon. All right, all right. It's time for bottle shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We'll, we'll give it a we'll give it a minute. Come here, girl. Maybe it is time. For all right, it's time for bottle shot. First, let me, let me just get through all this, <laughs> all this shit. <laughs> uh, I, I found this funny, like... Yes? How people are like, Oh, consumerism! We live in a capitalistic society! 
They're like, can this country open back up so we can start consuming again? <laughs> oh, Japan? No, no, just the world in America and Japan. Like, if they're like, why are we all locked down? It's like, if lockdown ends, the only thing you're going to do is be a consumer. <laughs> but that's what people were doing in lockdown. They were consuming more, weren't they? Like on Amazon. No, I'm talking about like actually have to go out buying purses and stuff. And oh, oh, game tickets. Oh. It's like okay. Wait, think about that. Wait, so one more time, people were complaining about consumerism. Yeah, consumerism and capitalism, but they're always <sighs> one of the things about the lockdown. You can you can say is like, hey, it, it kind of slowed all that shit down. Yeah. But once bars and restaurants and all that shit opens back up, you're just going to go back to being <laughs> a consumer. Right. The problem with capitalism is there's no better alternative. There really isn't. Of course. Rich capitalism! I mean... It's like, I don't know. I mean, what else is there? I mean, just have capitalism with socialism for like health stuff i'd say european style i don't know european style baby. all right here's a question okay what's worse having to take a shit right after a long shower or stepping in water after you put on some fresh clean socks it's the socks man you just like i used to oh these are clean socks <laughs> 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 when I came to Japan, I used to joke like the worst part about a typhoon is getting your socks wet. Yeah, and having yeah. to walk around in wet socks all day, like it fucking sucks. But for me, it's the poop. I, I hate really? to take a shower after a shit. I'm like, are you serious? I'm so clean, <laughs> and my ass is just gonna be so dirty. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yes. So, if you're walking, and you fall down, and you go, ah! And your hand falls in shit. Shit, okay. Would you take a dry piece of cloth, wipe your hand, and say, I'm good? No, I'd have to clean it with water. So, why do people just wipe their ass with a dry piece of cloth and say they're good? <laughs> you're getting into... <laughs> Yay! Buddhist territory <laughs> Why does why does someone wipe their ass with? Nah, it? nah. Answer the question. It's a it's a deep question. It makes you really wonder. You would not. It, it, you would have to wash your hands twenty times to get. The, <laughs> think, think, it would be twenty times to 20. get the thought, and and you'll still be like, son of a bitch. Yeah, where it's like it looks clean, but it's not. <laughs> but you you sit on the toilet, you go. <laughs> Uh, I'm clean. I'm good. Damn it, Brandon. <laughs> I got that. You all keep taking it. I, I just got to get all this nah, shit. Nah, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. Chris is going home, yo. I'm out of here. You bring, you bring them cookies, please. You want this gyoza too? I want them gyoza cubes. Take your damn cookies. Oh. My new rap song. I want a woman with self-respect. <laughs> I want a woman with a good gender. I want a woman who puts me in my place. <laughs> I want a feminist. Then she's like, Ugh, you don't. Uh, my job's better than yours. I don't want to be with you. But, 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 but. Uh, October went pretty fast. <laughs> this year's almost over, too. Damn! Chris, save me. <laughs> Get away from me. Just one more. We got these, uh... I got these. Get them away from me! <laughs> save me from my myself. cookies! Save me from myself, Chris. I can't stop myself. We got chocolate and matcha cookies. Fuck. These are delicious. Be better. You just have the cookies before you don't eat them. I'm not better. If I see cocaine, I gotta sniff it. <laughs> just sniff it. <laughs> it smells, like, smells like cocaine. Do, do they make 
Did they make drug perfumes? Like, hmm, smells like heroin. Chris, what are you doing? What are you doing? I thought it'd be funny coming back from America. What if I was just extremely racist? <laughs> like, I don't remember Chris being this racist. <laughs> That'd be funny. Like, I just have, like, all these tattoos, and it's like <laughs> the fucking Nazi tattoos. Damn, I want those cookies. I know, so right? So far away. Good. See, that's how we gotta save ourselves, Chris. 